Hello YouTube, it's me Dominoid, and if you're waiting for the new episode of Retro Dom, that is coming very soon, I promise. And in the meantime, I decided to upload a quick unboxing video for you, just to whet your appetite in the meantime. So, bought something recently, not retro related, and upon inspecting what I had in the box, I uh, decided that this review will be done unashamedly in an Ashen style. Uh, you might call it a rip-off, I like to think of it as a tribute. So, here we are. Electronic Kitchen Scale. Don, why are you showing us a rather uninteresting item of kitchen appliance? That can't, that can't make for a good video, can it? Oh, well, you'll see when we get inside the box why I found this amusing. Let's have a quick check the specification then, first of all. So we have a high precision strain gauge sensor. So a thing that tells you how heavy the thing you just put on it is. Auto zero, auto off, low battery overload function, multi-unit display and a tear function, and battery, two AAA batteries included. Well, actually, that, that's a lie. Uh, there's nothing in there of the sort, but let's have a look and see what is there. It's a rather compact little box. Got some lovely bubble wrap here, which I'm sure I'll spend hours playing with later. Uh, and then we have the scales themselves. They're just a fairly ordinary set of scales. Um, oh, this struck me of note on the back. Instruction. Instructions, press and hold the power button until the numbers appear on the display. No one knows where that A went and add objects to be weighed. If you need to be told that, there's probably no hope for you at all. Uh, anyway, this is the important part here, the, the real instructions. Now these, as you can see on this piece of toilet tissue that they include with it, uh, that is entirely in Chinese, and that side's in English. However, that side probably makes more sense. So let's have a look and see what you get here so this is the WHB series portable electronic scale users manual description WHB series electronic kitchen scale is a new production made by we hang electronic scale limited with high precision used in family kitchen food weighing common traditional Chinese medicine weighing etc with the characters of fine shape high precision multi-unit conversion fast response stable weighing etc <coughs> but it has range precision and a bunch of numbers that I don't really get, so I will ignore. Uh, power to AAA batteries over three months in intermittent used. Uh, and then it's got some working voltage and current and power off current. And none of those are very interesting. But then, then now, now we come to the instruction. Just, just the one. Uh, power on off. Put the scale in a vertical position. Well, we'll ignore that. Um, so, so once you've worked out how to put it in the vertical position, you need to press this button, which doesn't do anything because we haven't actually put any batteries in. So the instructions failed pretty much straight away. As I've said, if you need instructions and you couldn't work this bit out for yourself, there's no hope for you. You shouldn't be eating. <coughs> so we press that button and the number oh uh, eight uh, press the number it would power on that display if there were batteries in it and catch zero weight you should keep stable and don't wait until display weight zero if press that button and hold two seconds in working state it will power off or do not any operate 120 seconds it will power off automatic as well it's 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 getting a little worse. It, it's not terrible English. I've seen worse. I'm sure it can't get any worse, can it? Oh 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 yes, it can. <clears throat> unit convert in working state. Press unit could convert to the unit of kilogram ounce pound. One kilogram equals thirty five ounces equals two point two pounds. So there's a little maths lesson. So that's always good. In working state, press that button again. Would remove the tear. Display zero weight. Press that button again and would add to the tear. Calibrate. Well, this, I believe, is about the point they opened the bottle of Jack Daniels. If the scale inaccurate, you may calibrate it. You need a weight which in calibrate range. Then shut down the scale and press unit the moment of power on. Enter the calibrate state. You can choose a calibrate range of 7,000 grams, 5,000 grams, 3,000 grams, 3,000.0 grams, or 1,000.0 grams. Press unit, press that button again, enter calibrating. Keep scale plate empty and press that button to calibrate zero point. It would display cal zero range, then put the weight on the scale plate. It would display cal one pass, indicate calibrate successfully. 
and fall over. <clears throat> but there's a caution. Got to remember, got to read the caution. Caution: When the scale goods overrated range is 105% with a stray apostrophe, it would overlord and display zero LD. I am the overlord of weighing food. Oh, and my thumb's quite heavy apparently. You should remove the goods and reduce the weight when weigh it again. Increase the weight would damage the scale. Display low when power on indicate low power. You should replace battery. It doesn't say which one, but never mind. You should remove the battery from scale when do not used in a long time, or the battery would leakage. So, uh, yes, we, we certainly don't want the battery to leakage. Um, as, as with all reviews, I should probably show you how it works. Well, this is the scale. You put things on here, and then here it tells you how much they weigh. It's already set to grams and uh, I'm not old enough to like you, uh, any form of imperial measurement, so it's going to stay in grams. Let's just see how heavy this empty bottle of Thirsty Ferret is. It's 29.9, or um, well, 299 grams. Apparently I can't read. And I think in, in tradition of what we are reviewing here, let's measure or weigh this copy of Zero Wing on the Mega Drive. Well, that's 150 grams. All your grams are belong to us. Anyway, stay tuned for a new episode of Retro Dom coming very soon, and possibly more exciting revelations about things I've bought for the kitchen. In the meantime, YouTube, thank you and goodbye for now.